Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might explode some one. Let's start the timer. Bing. TNT. Yeah. I heard an interesting, somebody talking about something interesting the other day, and I thought I'd bring it up on the podcast. So, okay, as, you know, neither one of us have children, right? Oh, thank God. So, if you, as a grown adult, or even someone that maybe had a kid and your kid's out of the house, right? Oh, and oh. like, and you were like, you know... I just don't want to deal with kids anymore. <laughs> Would you pay extra to go to a restaurant that their policy was no children allowed? Or you could live in an apartment complex, but their policy was no kids allowed. Like, So if you could pay a premium to never have to deal with children anywhere you went... Hmm. Would it be worth it to you? A premium is a very interesting um, caveat there. Yeah, because you, you go gotta, to a restaurant, someone's got their kids there, the kids are running around, they're not paying attention to their kid, things like that. The parents are on their phone, kids doing whatever. Everyone's okay. had that happen, right? So, okay, so look. A restaurant seems a little bit much. Like if you have, like if you have issues with kids so much that you don't want to eat in the vicinity of them, then you <laughs> are an evil person, and you need to look inside yourself or find God. Like really, you got. Okay, well, well, you like going to the movies. What if you were to say no kid movie guarantee? There would not be no it's, children it's, in it. I'm getting there. I'm okay. getting there. So restaurant, you're in your psychopath. Living in a neighborhood. Okay, now look, I'm not going to lie, Jonas, is that the kids, when they're young, perfectly fine. All you got to do is be careful and to not hit them in, in the parking lot or whatever. Right, right. Or on the, on the roads when they're, when they're out playing. Once they turn into teenagers, I'm paying that premium. Okay. Give me Once they hit 12 years, no, 10 years old, I'm paying that premium. Okay, what's the difference of that then? Because well, when kids are real little, they're just loud for no reason. You know, running around yelling all the time, crying. Yeah, but for the most part, they're under parental supervision. Once they hit a certain age and the parents are like, they'll be fine if they just go outside by themselves and leave them to their own devices. Yeah. We've been there. I've been yeah. there. I've thrown rack, ro racks. I've thrown rocks at cars. Yeah, right. I, yeah, I need that premium at, at once once the neighborhood kids hit a certain age. Yeah, well, well, that's what the example I gave you there was like at the pool here at the compound. There was a kid, he's probably like 14, and it's, the kid he's with is probably 8. And yeah. they're running around, but they go to the pool, there's a bunch of adults in the pool just hanging out, and they're like kicking soccer balls over the pool back and forth to each other yeah. while they're adults just hanging out swimming in the pool. And I'm like, somebody should be watching these damn kids, because... They're going to hit somebody in the face with a kickball because no one's telling them not to do it. And like, I like, I feel you that that's annoying, but it's, I don't know. I'm so Marcus Aurelius pilled that I can't just be like, yeah, but it's a public pool. You're going to have that at a public pool. So it's like, if you don't, yes, it's annoying, but that's what you get when you, if you don't like that. Get your own fucking pool. <laughs> I, mean, so, I mean, you're not wrong, but, so, but the pool does have a sign that says no children under 16 without a parent. Sorry, not everybody obeys the rules. Yeah. That's why we Kick lock, them out. That's why we lock people up. That's because <laughs> their kid went to the yeah. pool. If, if you, if, like, I, hey, look, for real, if you feel that strongly about it, say go reporter. I wouldn't even be mad at you for doing that. I think you were a snitch, but I ain't going to be mad about it. Right, right. Now I feel not going to hurt our relationship. So my whole thing is like in public places, I feel like trying to being mad because kids are right, a thing right. is a little is a little nuts. What about, um, what about if, when they bring dogs? People, cause <laughs> Austin, Austin loves to be like, oh, it's a patio. Bring your dog. No, let, let me let me finish. So, okay. So, but I do say that if I go to a movie and I could get the kid free show, that I would do. I do say in my neighborhood, if I can live in a kid free neighborhood, that that brings up some interest. But it's not just because I'm annoyed by kids. It's just because I know teenagers like to vandalize and do ill shit. Yeah, I mean, but, you're not wrong. But like I don't, I'm not gonna pay to go to don't the kid. hate kids so much. You're like I don't ever want to see one of those things. I'm not gonna pay to go to the kid free mall. I'm not gonna pay to go to the kid free McDonald's. I'm not gonna. It's insanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 20 minutes of your day, and you're paying a premium to get, no get out yeah, of here. Yeah. Well. Uh, well. Yeah. I'm not like, gonna go to the kid free grocery store. Yeah, but you know. And I agree. I, w I probably wouldn't do it either because it's not that I mind kids that much. What I do mind is the parents not trying to keep them accountable. There's a that, difference between yeah. – okay, 
I, I mean, I know you haven't flown a ton. I've flown more than you have. But, like, <laughs> there's a difference when there's a crying baby on the plane oh. and the parent can't get it to stop. And you are and you just, like, feel bad, like, oh, damn. This this parent is trying. This kid is just being yeah. wild him, on the plane. Take him to the bathroom. You can hear it in right. the bathroom. And there's another one where the where the parent just zones them out. And that happens in stores, too. There mm. Sometimes the parents are so, like, desensitized to their kid crying that they just... They don't even hear it, and they're just carrying on like a goddamn fool. And you're like, <laughs> "What are you doing? Take uh, your kid out!" Like we went to that movie, and that that those people's kids started crying during the movie. They didn't get up to take the kid out of the no, damn movie. No, it, they just sat there like, "Oh, it'll be all right." And you you got to take the kid out of the movie. If the if your kid starts crying through a movie, and you're not taking them out of there, then you're a part of the problem. Right, you really are. That'd you're be like your phone ringing and you're just letting it ring. Yeah, you're basically uh, Karl Marx. You know? Oh Jesus Christ! I'm just saying, like you're, you are. you're the founder of modern communism. <laughs> <if> you... <laughs> you you're treating us with the same like we're the parents, dude. It's not that equal. Yeah, we're not your kids' parents. Uh... We don't deserve the same treatment as you. Yeah, man, and I understand having kids is is hard. It sucks sometimes. Yes. And I am very accepting of people with kids and their kids and whatever. I'm not gonna I'm gonna respect. It's about the parental effort, man. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, more or less anymore, I just try to go around trying not to seem like a pedophile. I just, that's all I want. I don't want to be. I don't want to be looked. Is at that as hard a, to try to? I don't know. Man. I feel like it is to a certain. I don't know. How do you not look like one? Just how do you look how, like one? If if a small if a small boy or, or girl came up to you and you're just like, "Hey, little girl, how are you?" Automatically, people are going to be like, mm, "Maybe." I, yeah, I just, Possibly. Ignore, I just ignore kids. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they walk but, up and they're like, hey, mister. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, let's look at him. I, I feel you, but I'm saying hypothetically, how would you, how, how would you interact with a child that is not yours? It's like a small boy just came up to you. It was like, I don't know where my mommy is. Oh Lord. <laughs> I, I, in that case, I would be like, here, follow me. I'll take you up to the customer service desk okay, or whatever. Right. But dude, actually I had that don't happen to me. Don't let him get in your car. I went with, so where I was with my ex-wife right somewhere. Now. Don't do that. It was downtown. So it was really unexpected. It was like, it was a restaurant or somewhere. Went in, went to the bathroom and I was using a urinal. A mm. little boy walks in to like, it was like a bar or something. And I'm like, why is there like a 10 year old boy in here? He comes in, starts using the urinal next to me, then starts talking to me. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> See? There's a kid in here. We're both peeing, and he's talking to me. This is weird. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and I felt like so go, weird. You can go into that situation as honest as you want, but if somebody walks in and they catch you talking to this kid while you're both peeing, innocent as it may be, the little spidey sense is going to go up, man. Right, and I was just like, this is the most awkward thing ever. I got to get out of here. before." <laughs> so, like, I was like, I got to go. I was like, go on, kid. Yeah, bye. I was like, just, I was like oh, my God. Please don't know. It was so weird. I think I talked about it on a way, way long time ago episode of the podcast. But one yeah. maybe the ones I did by myself, um, way the beginning. It was just weird, man. It, and that's it's, it's 100 percent true though. I've definitely like you even brought up that story a while ago about the uh, the guy who was taking pictures of his own kids. Oh, and, some, and somebody called the cops exactly. because he was taking exactly. photos of kids like on the playground. They thought he was being a weirdo. And it's so crazy, man. It's because like. With, it's been it's been in the news a lot more lately with this with this with the uh, human trafficking yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, and the and the Lolita Island or whatever. It's like you it's like being a guy. It's dangerous to just like like kids or talk to kids. Yeah, and you know, and you know, maybe I do that subconsciously because I really don't interact with kids. No, and I don't either. And I think it's probably ingrained yeah, in us then, just because it's safer and less awkward. Well, but and, and the caveat to that is like uh, the girl I've, I've been hanging out with for a couple years. She is like uber into kids. Yeah. Like, you know, she she works with kids at her work, a job. But like out in public, I've seen her be like, hey, da da da, gets on, gets like stoops down, starts interacting with a kid. The parents are like, oh, ha ha ha. And like, yeah. and like, but if I did that, dude, they'd be like, what <laughs> the F weird. is wrong with you, little, little man? It'd like, be weird. Right. <laughs> I might have even told this joke when you were talking about it. Um, 
but there was a comedian that I saw and he was like, I saw this woman interact with a child and she gets down and she's like, oh, aren't you just a handsome little thing? When you turn 18, I'm going to come and find you and marry you really, really quick. I'll right. get you right up. And, the, you know, and the parents laughed and she laughed. They walked off. And it was like, if I was a, being a dude, if I went up and said that, hey, little girl, I'm a aren't fine, you a beautiful yeah. little thing? <laughs> oh, my God. You go to jail when right then. you turn 18, I'll eat you up. Like, get that. <laughs> Like, Dude. automatically assume the position. Wow. You, it's a double you, standard. The dad man. would probably hit you if you said that to his yeah, daughter. You just walk up as a guy up to some other dude's daughter. Fail. <laughs> that would be the end of it. <laughs> God, good thing we're not weird, creepy guys. So, I know, right? anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.